Yes, one of my client achieved financial freedom with just three student rental properties in less than three years. Yes, I'm not kidding. And I'm here with her and I'm going to find out her story, why she got into real estate and why she chose student rental and what kind of strategic renovations she's doing to you know, bring that heavy cash flow and how she's managing student rental and how her portfolio performing during this COVID time. So all these details stay till the end. I promise you will get so much value out of it and make sure you hit that thumbs up and leave a comment if you have any questions. Namaskar, welcome back to another video and you guys are in treat. I have a special guest gonna share ton of content so stay till the end she's gonna tell a lot of stories that i really love from her so stay tuned come on first of all thank you so much again thank you thank you for inviting me here yeah so you know i know about you but for those who doesn't know about you who you are <laughs> well as we just said my name is roman gill and uh, i'm living in winter since past 25 plus years uh, finished my school and mm -hmm. university here i am working as a it program manager right now and uh, live in the south yeah so After, i would mention like i have two kids <laughs> and my husband <laughs> so you forgot your I kids i forgot about my kids yeah <laughs> come on roma <laughs> so <laughs> that's i know you're into it that's yes. that's crazy how did you get into real estate then well, I always into um, real estate, I would say. Uh, we built our house and mm -hmm. uh, since then it just whole like construction like excite me so much. I always into like looking into real estate and how the market is going and uh, since past few years, I think um, in winter real estate is like, you know, kicked in and then prices are going so up yeah. high and then I, I just wanted to do something in this area okay so you chose something special uh, specific which not many people does especially you know a uh, lot of investors invest you know like even me i buy properties here and there but you have a specific strategy um that is like you know in student rental yeah um first of all why like you know why are you you know you're you have a good income right from your job yes then you're working full time there and why did you choose to you know jump in at the first place uh freedom i would say i just don't want to be have like one single source of income mm -hmm. so let's say tomorrow if i don't have a job then i just need to have a freedom that i have other passive income coming in so i don't need to totally rely on my job and then uh, you know extra income is always good yeah. i guess so you need to have multiple income sources yeah that's a reason why i yeah. started too yeah so is that why you got into student rental um cash flow for sure <laughs> so, so why we, cash flow because the first property we knew nothing about real estate and we had no like no, no nobody in my family invested ever so we didn't know what we were doing mm -hmm. and i knew that student rental i like you know i was watching videos and a bigger pocket and all that and i knew that like a student rental have like a lots of cash flow for sure if you yeah. do it right so we just wanted to do experiment it's like okay. okay let's buy one property see how it's going and then if we make any cash flow or not and that's why we decided to purchase a student rental so pretty much you got in just to experiment yes and then now you have three properties just in student rental yes and you're doing a duplex conversion mm -hmm. and this is all in last three years three years yes how much is your student rentals making currently um all, all three properties yeah together what's the together i would say like after all the expenses and everything around 4500 plus 4500 net cash flow yes or net income net income net in sorry gross income or yes. net income 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 yeah after all the expenses wow 
4,800. 4, 4,500. 4, 4, 5, yeah, plus like Give here or take. and there, yes. So pretty much it's like one, my IT salary <laughs> <laughs> when I was working full time. Yeah. That's crazy. So let's talk about your first deal. That's something, you know, many first time investors get bogged down, you know, because, you know, it's so many, first of all, unknowns mm -hmm. um, and students ruin the properties. Students doesn't keep the property well. So what was your experience when you were going through that first property purchase process? Well, luckily, um, we never faced that issue so far. Uh, student rentals are like really, um, it's a high end student rental we're investing okay. in. It's not like any rundown houses. Mm -hmm. So. You want to talk? You want me to talk about the first one? Yes. Okay. So tell me, tell me a little bit more. You know, um, how did you purchase that property first mm -hmm. of all? And like, you know, then you said luxury, right? Like, and I know I want you to tell me you have a specific system. Yes. That's what I love. I I want you to talk. How did you land on that system? Okay. So the first house we purchased, uh, it was a three bedroom uh, bungalow, raised mm -hmm. rent bungalow mm -hmm. with a basement unfinished. Uh, there was some rough and done, but there was nothing in the basement. It was three bedroom, huge living area, nice kitchen, laundry, everything on the main floor. Okay. And I am all about nice layouts. I mean, for me, if we, I, I want to buy a property, it has to be a layout, has to be really nice and open. Yep. I don't like like tight your usual student rentals like you know cookie cutter bedrooms and yeah. all that so that house like really uh, attracts me a lot and then we bought that house so okay. even though it, it had only three bedrooms mm -hmm. um but basement was open so we put two additional bedrooms and uh, a separate kitchen and living area totally separate so we now have like five bedrooms in that house so without knowingly you did a lot of value add in there yes so I didn't know at that time, but yes, you're right. We did lots of That's value awesome. Add. So first of all, like where is this property located? How far is it from university? It is a three minute walk from, to the University of Intermean campus. Was that like you chosen specifically or like you just got that property? I uh, know I was very, um, I knew where I wanted to buy a property. So we, mm -hmm. we wanted to be like two streets away from the university Why? within that walking distance. Why? Because you will get uh, very good students for your rental then because it's right there by the campus and mm -hmm. uh, plus the rents are going to be higher. So Yeah, I, I, I know that. I want <laughs> you to tell me that. Because, you know, that's one thing, uh, especially with the student rental, right? Like the proximity makes a big difference. Oh yes, for sure. And especially like to have it, uh, to have a good tenants, right? Yes. And that's another thing I want to ask you, like, so who are your tenants? That's one thing you do cool. Uh, my tenants are only females. So I don't rent it out to mix like male and female. So we only uh, renting it out to females only. And they are all in either nursing or medical science engineering students. So we don't You're get- You're being so racist. I you don't like men, not. come on. <laughs> no, but we don't want to mix it up because when you mix it up, then you just don't attract yeah. any good students. So no, either th it has really to be male point. only or female yeah so uh, honestly that's a really great point guys yeah. that's one thing um you know you stick with your instincts right that's yes. one thing i like the way you buy your properties um because you know i was with you on yes <laughs> except the, the first property except the first one, yes. <laughs> that's one thing you're clear about your location mm -hmm. you're clear about the layout what yes. exactly you want to have an open concept and all those things and you're okay to take on work yes and very clear about like the type of tenants that you wanted mm -hmm. so that's something not many people does yeah i mean you cannot have everything like you know if you want a location and sometimes uh it's not like all done so you yeah. have to do some work to yeah. make it like you know bring it to a standard to yeah yeah so so this is a common question that i'm getting nowadays from a lot of audience because of the covid was there any impact on your student rentals uh we were very lucky actually so uh, 
our leases were already signed before the COVID started for two of our other properties and um, the third one we purchased actually during the COVID yeah. <laughs> and uh, right after we purchased it we had two leases signed and then uh, now uh, we had to do some renovation so we just took that time to renovate that mm -hmm. property but because we had good income coming from other properties so we didn't really uh, it didn't yeah. matter so if we had didn't have any income for a few months Got it. Uh, we had a backup plan but do you have any vacancy is currently um i have uh, right now so i wouldn't say like it's a vacancy because mm -hmm. i can put students in like tomorrow okay. but i'm very pacific about who i want in my property so i don't just like rent it out to anybody god so students are still there mm -hmm. they're still like you can get international students mm -hmm. they are like other students who wants to move in or change like you know locations but uh, whatever i want so i would rather wait till just rent it out to yeah, somebody makes sense you know so to gather of all your total three properties how many bedrooms you have um i have to count time. it i think it's around so 20 20 so one one property is five bedrooms another one is like eight it's bedrooms a, a eight bedroom and then another I have one a is six, six bedroom and so, they are all like huge bedrooms as i said size. nothing is less than eight by eight and you provide all the um uh, furniture yes uh, so it comes fully furnished with all mm -hmm. ikea brand new beds and brand new mattresses so we don't cheap out on any of and the do furniture. you provide any cleaning service or anything? yes bi-weekly cleaning services are included so, as as long and internet as well okay so cleaning services are included which means you're gonna attract good quality tenants yes. because the property will be and clean. they keep the property clean yeah as well. i love that yeah and so out of this 20 how many you how many bedrooms are vacant currently um three three which is like less than 20 percent yes it so is. you with the three vacancies you're currently making four thousand eight five hundred plus yes so once you rent out that then it will be yeah over six thousand yeah a little bit more yeah mm. <laughs> over six thousand cash flow on three properties which is insane so can you run us like specifically on uh numbers on one property uh, one of one, uh, out of this three properties uh any of your favorite project so my favorite project will be the one which we bought uh last year uh, two uh, years ago ah uh, no it's been only a year year and a half ago yeah, 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 yeah. end of like 2018 we got no 2019 mid of okay whatever. Uh, mid of that mid of, yeah, sorry, because yeah. i got my license in 2019 yes 2019 mid of 2019. Yeah, they're mixing up the years here <laughs> so that property was the most disgusting property we yeah. ever purchased but it was uh, horrible experience even <laughs> the purchase process was crazy but um the layout was really awesome the house was not in a good condition but layout was there so that's mm -hmm. the only reason why we purchased and plus it was only like two minutes walk to university yeah so we got we got the whole property upstairs downstairs everything so first of all hold on i'm gonna break you there okay how much did you purchase for 240 240 yeah okay and uh, when you purchased it how many bedrooms was that it was already uh five, five. yeah six five. bedrooms actually yeah, three five in the basement six, yeah. Right, yeah so and then you convert it into eight so yes. how much money did you spend on that property so we spent i would say seventy thousand dollars so you purchased for 240 yeah and you spent seventy thousand yeah did you refinance of course i did <laughs> what's the appraisal value came up for uh 395 so you pulled out 395 into 80% loan to uh, you pulled out all your money out all the money out yes so even in student rental you can do burst strategy yeah. while having a crazy cash flow that's uh, that's yeah and that good. is the property we are getting we are getting most of the cash is 3000 plus cash wow. every month so 3000 cash flow like after all expenses after all expenses. so that's the big uh, cash flowing property oh yes that's and crazy it's, it's the best looking property as well and i remember it was yes. the disgust i'll try to put the before, before and after, and after pictures yeah. so you're gonna check that yeah. out minus a cockroach like, yeah you know the mouses and the yeah and then there were mouses there were cockroaches oh my god that I, like I remember that whole property. nest of like cockroaches <laughs> that's disgusting so. that's and also like th that's uh, leaving that project aside mm -hmm. one thing you just mentioned before we started recording the cool thing about the property we bought recently during covid uh, yes what did you do with that 
the you mean the single family house yeah the one yeah. no 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 oh. not the duplex the, the du uh, the, the okay the one that is also bought. student rental yeah. yes so the, that is uh during the covid we yeah. purchased that so it was like i, I actually I, I think the only reason we got it because we uh, had a cash offer on that yeah. one so that was a pretty cool property and it was already really, a turnkey pretty much it is pretty much but then we added one more bedroom because mm -hmm. um it's it there is no basement for yep. that house which i really like everything is on a main floor yeah and it's a really cool property actually no one thing you're missing what did you do to, to pull your money, money out <laughs> so it was only six months ago right? six months ago yes so, so we as you know, the property was in a good condition. Yeah. It didn't need much of the work. It was already turnkey. Yes, but it, we just needed to do some paint, paint. inside. Okay. And as I said, we just had one bedroom done because okay. there was a space, empty space, and we made a turned that into a bedroom. Yeah. And we changed the shingles. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty much what we did in that. So property. you purchased for three twenty. Three forty. Three forty. Yes. And then you. Re uh, Spend some money on it. Um, only I would say. I'll correct you. Actually, I was the one representing you. Yes. It's three twenty, three twenty-five, three twenty or three twenty-five. Three twenty-five, maybe. Yeah. yeah. I'm mixing up two properties yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. But and then you spent like ten thousand. Yeah, ten thousand dollar. Now you refinanced it already. Yes. For three ninety six. Three ninety six. Yes. <laughs> that's yeah, I'm actually in the process of signing the papers right now, but that's so the new to your place. Right? That means you're taking all your money out already. Yes. Shit, no kidding. Yes. So that's a, another thing. Many, you know, many of you asked me, hey, is it a good time to buy student rental? Definitely. It's we always, are... now is the best time to buy student rental if somebody has cash because uh, people are not actually bidding so much yeah. uh, because of the COVID. But uh, I'm sure next year, once everything is back to normal, then it's... you're going to see the prices high. So. At least you're the one who relate to exactly. my thoughts. <laughs> the prices are going to go up for sure yeah. next year once a vaccine is there. I love that. Yeah. So, and what's your future project, current project that you're working on? Uh, the duplex conversion. I'm very excited about yeah, that. We're going to so. make a video on that one soon. Yes. So, you know, I, I, I know Raman that the, I, the time is running out here. We already we can go on and on for hours. Yeah. I really wish you very good luck with that duplex conversion. Thank you. And we're gonna show that video as well. And with that, you know, thanks for being here. No, thank and you for inviting everything. me. Thank you yeah. so much. Have a nice yeah, day. We'll guys, see you in the next video with Raman on duplex conversion project. <laughs> thank you. Have a good day, guys. Thanks.